We all have two lives. The second one starts when we realize we only have one. I think what a profound thought. Have you ever thought of it? Morning means one more innings of life that God gives you to live every day when you wake up. When the sun rises, it's a new start. It's a new beginning to a new day. But we repeat the same game over and over again and we are losing our overs of life. I think every morning, the day you realize it's a new inning, then there is a new thought, there is a new pattern, there is a new behavior, there is a new response, there is a new responsibility. I would love to share a very beautiful story over here, which a story that has touched my heart. So once there was this little boy and he was happily playing at his home. The mother was a very peaceful lady, very contented. But the husband of the house, the father, was a person who was working all the time, very ambitious and wanted to earn a lot of money and bring home to the family. That evening, at the doorstep, Lord Yama had arrived. He told this person, it's time for you to leave. He said, where do I have to leave? He said that your time is up and you have to depart from this world now. The father said, no, but I have just lived to earn till date. Now I am looking at living life to celebrate with my children, with my wife. He said, no, but the time has arrived and you have to be, be taken to the Yamlok. So it's time for you that you come along with me. The father said that can you give me at least few years to live with this money that I have earned. I have worked so hard to earn so that I can enjoy this money. The yam said not possible. Then the father said at least can you give me few months so that I can enjoy this money. He said no, it's not happening now. He said, can I at least get few days, if not anything, at least seven days of my life? Can I live this 40 million that I have earned? He said, it's not possible. He said, can I at least get three days to live with my children, my wife, my friends, all the relationships that I have missed and have lost on? Can I get some time to spend with them, some quality time and enjoy this money that I have earned. Yam said, it's not possible. It's time and you're getting late. I have to take your soul and go. Then the father said, can I get one day, 24 hours? He said, no, even that is not possible. I cannot give you even 24 hours to live. Then the man said, can I at least get few hours? The yam said, even that is not in my hand. We had given you a life that you could live, but you chose only to run behind $40 million, neglected all your relationships in life, your quality time, your celebrations, your fun, your everything you neglected thinking that you will get some more time to enjoy these 40 million dollars. Then he said that at least Ken, I can't buy you any time and you cannot buy any time from me. No money can make you buy time of your loved ones once they are gone. This is something for us all of us to think. And then this father said, can I get at least one minute? Yum said, that is in my hand. I can give you a minute. And then he took the bag of 40 million that he came home with that evening, made a note and said that don't waste time and live every moment of life because you don't know whether you will see a tomorrow. Please enjoy this 40 million to its fullest. And then he left that note and the yum took the soul away. I sometimes really wonder that 
we all run for success and forget happiness but my dear friends i must tell you happiness cannot be bought being successful is important but being happily successful is even more important can you think at what cost and at what price are you losing the key of your happiness this is something for you to introspect for you to understand who has the key of your life is it the money or is it yourself the day you realize that i think the second life becomes more beautiful thank you